Hello? Hello, hello? Beep, beep. Eh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> she just pulled up. She just didn't care. She's like, yo. Bro, Jupiter is fine. She is so fine, bro. Ah! 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 Just, just ah. Why do you have a Zubat? Why do you have... Why are you... Co it's level 18. She has two Mons. Why? Can I ask that question? Supersonic? Yeah, I'm not saying anything for this. I'm not saying anything to get Supersonic, dude. You miss me with that shit, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did she say that after she confused me? Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. Um. No. So back, back to, uh, back to Arc Five. Oh, this shit's fire. <laughs> and then there, there's a. Uh, there's also a gay French guy in the anime. He might not be gay, but he's 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 gay. He's a gay French guy. He is, cause the and then he had, one of his uh, slaves is a uh, is a buff dude. Oh, she has a skunting. Oh, now that's actually fire. Now is it physical skunting or is it? Well, we won't know until after this turn, because she poison gas me. Is it special scum tank? This thing has flamethrower. Like, it gets flamethrower on, on evolution. There's no way it doesn't have it, right? Use it. Use the flamethrower. I dare you. I dare you. Yeah, there's a flamethrower. Ow. Pain. Anyway, here's a spark. He actually kind of has hands. Where am I? Uh, okay, I can take one more hit. As long as long as I don't get crit, I can take a flamethrower because I'm plus one in special defense. And then I still let yeah, I still love the poison. Paralyze? No paralyze. No paralyzation. All right. This is where we swap to Mister. Mr. Uh, Mr. Man right here. Zubat. And just kind of let him handle it. Alright. I know it's quad resist. I mean, it's not quad. It's just resisted. But it's better than... Oh, yeah. Snarl? Wait, why the fuck didn't you just... Alright, we live those. Hoo, hoo. Wah! So, so my man, Gene, the uh, the gay French man. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, chill out, bro. Aftermath, aftermath, fucking skunking, huh? Hey, you got hands, huh? I right, say less. God, she's still fine. <laughs> yo, hey, yo. Jupiter, yo, let me get that number. Mm, the valley one works. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, what? Huh? Yeah? What? Hey! Oh, you didn't know? Clefairy's from outer space, dog. Shit, yo, you lacking? The fuck is this? It's just, oh, it's a window. <laughs> dog, I thought it was a painting. I thought it was a painting. Give me a stab with you, G. So yeah, they um, the gay French man has a giant buff neck dude from jail. So you already know how that relationship goes, and uh, the the buff neck dude is enslaved also, cause you know, <laughs> that's that's just how it works. I'm not say I look. I'm just calling it how I sees it, and what I see is this French man with a buff neck dude. That he has mind controlled from jail. Who likes bondage? 
Yes, the jail person likes bondage. So, yeah, cock and ball torture. <laughs> so, alright, and again, I'm almost done with it. And this shit is great. I have to see, like, how the how the ending goes. Oh, of course, they have my boy uh, Jack Atlas and Crow from, from 5Bs in there. I think, like, the... The big we're going back to the uh to the lost chateau so because there's an encounter we can get in there there's technically two but i have to wait till nighttime to get rotom so we can at least get one and hopefully it's not ass yeah there's this item bro i was trying to get the item dude I was trying to get the item there's the uh, there's also the ogato that's in here which i mean that, it, that doesn't mean anything. It's just the old Gatel. All right, come on. Lost Chateau encounter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did, did they still have this shit haunted? There's the old Gatel. All right, bro. AMC, yo, y'all guys gotta gotta pull it together. No, y'all trying to give Spider-Man NFTs to celebrate uh, Spider-Man No Way Home or whatever the fuck it's called. Yo, they were still chilling on the piano, bro. What the whole fuck? Mm. They're killing this fucking piano shit. Anyone back here? Housekeeping? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there we go. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Ghastly? Ghastly? You encountered a wild ghastly. Yeah. Now... Oh, I, man. <laughs> like, I, mm, I'm kind of strong. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of strong. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Say less. Oh, yeah. Uh... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh. There we go. It, it's dead Zod because we be on that gas. <clears throat> uh. Okay. 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 So let's let's put you away. All right, Mister Gasly. I'm, not, I'm like. I would use the Haunter, but I'm not going to. Why? Uh, I, I just don't need it. I don't need... Well, I do need special attackers, but I'm sure that there's something else I can grab. Like Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash is fucking crazy. Oh, we got the Dread Plate. Sick. Does it have the inscriptions on here? When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. But the Dread Plate? Okay. Just another uh, another one of those funky emails. Yeah, no, I have to come come back at nighttime, cause the the Rotom itself is a static encounter anyway. So because of that, you can also count that as an encounter for the Lost Chateau. Mm, 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 mm. Couldn't get away, bro. Yo, Mr. Gasly. Just let me go. You know I'll blow your brains out, right? I might be a tree, but I will eat you. <gasps> there she goes. Yes. We just saw her. Hey, where the fuck you go, little bitch? What's up? Oh, bro. So, uh, sub disable. Uh, poisons, poison, poison bomb or sludge wave. Shadow ball, Gengar. That's just tech. Where the fuck you go, bitch? Damn, where did she go? She. 
she in here? Nope. She might be in the other room? Damn you, Gassy, ruining my immersion. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I, I probably have repels. I should probably... <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I have repels. I should probably use them, right? So my immersion doesn't get ruined. Oh, let me check. Yeah, I do. I have 16. I have 16 repels. Stop ruining my immersion, Gassy. She's not in here. Huh. She's somewhere in in this area. Where are you, rat? Huh. There's a painting with red eyes, huh? <laughs> That's totally not creepy as shit. Hello. Oh, yes. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> anyway, let me get the fuck out of here. Let me get out of here so we can keep it pushing. I'm just gonna check the kitchen one last time. Cause I thought you, you proc her and then she pulls up to the kitchen and then the old man shows up. Or they're like in the dining room somewhere. But apparently not. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go get our, our bicicleta. And then we can ride. You know what? We actually don't, because we, the, the experience is shared all the time, we actually don't get the, the, the XP share here. Cause remember, uh, you're supposed to get it from, from, uh, Rowan's assistant. So I'm assuming they'll give you a lucky egg, I guess. Maybe? Question mark? Hello. Hmm. Why, why did he take me out of the building? Uh, I would like you to choose your butt. Uh, which one will it be? Oh, I'll take a red bite. Sick. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Beat your ship gears, third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it'll be easier to handle. In fourth gear, you can ride to full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike will take you through all sorts of towns. Okay, it's a bike. It, it's it's a bike. <laughs> is he going to be in here? He is. There he goes. Mikhail, you look puzzled. You wonder who I am. I'm Professor Rose's assistant, Dawn's father. I've come a long way uh, to at the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Nikhilis, let me ask you a question. How many Pokemon have you met? You've met 44. Wonderful. Bravo. Uh huh. He gave me a singular rare candy. Uh huh. <laughs> he gave me a singular rare candy. Let me tell you something else, right? Bro, dead ass? So, well, you might not know this. But a lot a lot of times what happens in uh because it's not it's not just Arc 5. This is in in all Yu-Gi-Oh! animes. There's like anime versions of cards. And sometimes these these fucking anime versions of cards are fucking busted as shit. Like, uh, episode I just fucking finished watching before I before I started recording. I'm sitting here, and and my man he used ultra polymerization because his, his super poly got pop. And my man used ultra polymerization. I think he didn't pay any life points. 
uh, fusion summon, and then he he banished it, which you can like you could banish Ultra Poly to resummon the fusion materials. But then this my man was like, hey yo, the effect of Ultra Polymerization makes my card a tuner smile, so I can synchro summon now. And I'm sitting here like, bro, what? No. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Hey, dog, what? That, that's definitely not how that fucking works, bro. But whatever, dude. Whatever, man. I think they... Dog. That should be making me mad. Because I'm sitting here. This this man, right? Man, this is another... Uh, spoiler at this point. My man, man, you go. The synchro dude. From the uh, the sacred dimension, pulls up because he, he's trying to save he's trying to save his girl, and and he he has probably no I, not probably he has two two of the most busted Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the entire history that are still legal by the way that are still legal to use BT dubs because they only affect monsters. And that is the only saving grace that you can use spell and trap cards to get rid of them. But take that with a grain of salt. So, so my man pulls up, and he's like, "Yeah, I summon." Uh, I think it's Clear Wing Dragon, uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. I think that's the one, right? Which, but which it, it pretty much retains. It's it's text that it has in like in game or the the actual TCG text where you can whenever a, uh, a level five or higher is targeted you can negate uh, the effects activation and then destroy it and then gain the attack from the destroyed monster it has it does something else as well uh, with level five or higher so I don't I don't remember what it does but suffice to say that card is cracked. That card is very much cracked, and the only way to stop it is, um, oh, oh, the other part is if a level 5 or higher monster activates your effect, you can negate and destroy it, and then add it, add their attack to your, to yours. It's the other half of, that, that card is busted. That card is fucking busted, dude. And then he has freaking clear dragon, when you attack a level 5 or higher monster, you can just add their attack to yours. And it has 3,000 attack, bro. And we're just sitting there like, yup, mm-hmm, cock. And balls. And a what? Cock and balls. So, hey, they, that shit is a fucking time. So, my man's just sitting here, right? He's beating the shit out of out of his, his friend that, uh, that he is in love with. And he, homeboy just goes, hey, yo! I deleted your monster. I didn't use my card effect yet, but I destroyed it. And she she freaking pulls up on her turn, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna activate my my wind witch demon kajigger things effect." And my man, he like, I understand this is a show. I understand it's a show, but like, dog, he could have saved her. He a hundred percent could have saved her. If he fucking just activated Clear Wing Dragon's effect, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon's effect to negate it, because it would have got popped. He would have gained the attack and just straight up won, but he didn't. He was just like, oh man, up uh, cock and balls and uh, what? Cock and balls. And Homegirl just straight up milli rocked him. And then Red, not only did he milli rock, he pushed him off a fucking mountain. Was it? Was that him? It was one of them that got pushed off a mountain. And she merely rocked on his dead body and was like, oh, word? And Moon walked out of there. And I'm just watching this dude like, bro. You go. She, she don't. You can't. Dog. You can't just be like, hey, yo, I'll save you. And not do everything that you can to save her. Just, just. Ah. Stupid. They're all, they're all stupid. Except Ragey. Ragey's a fucking genius. That boy got hands. 
Do I stay in? Fuck it. I'll stay in. Uh-oh. I should not have stayed in. That I should do that much damage. It really didn't. Why are they level 15? The gym leader... The gym leader's ace was 22. Why are you level 15, bro? Nanny? I'm love I'm about to be level 24. I am level 24. I'm about to be level 25. Upwards to 30. And we have another rival battle in Hearthome City. We can also get an Eevee in Hearthome City. Um from BB. We actually have a, uh, quite a few encounters we can get. Because we have uh, Mount Coronet. Which, Mount Coronet's not really going to have anything in it. But for the most part, uh, most of the stuff in Mount Coronet should be dupes and species. Actually, that's not true. Uh, there could be a Bronzong in Mount Coronet that if we run into, I I'd be down. I'm, I'm already strong enough as is. I'm quite strong. And I'm gonna get even stronger because remember, we don't. Pre, since this is not platinum, we don't get um, another gym badge until we get to the other half of the Sinnoh region, past Coronet, which we're about to cross through Nile. And we pass through Hearthome City to go to. Um, Veilstone, pass through Hearthome to go to Veilstone to loop around uh, to come back to, to Hearthome. So it, it, it's going to be a while before we get that third badge, but that's fine. We'll be okay. Actually, see, in like, uh, watching through Arc 5, it, it's really been, it brought back so many memories of back when I, I was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, you might you, you might know. The like this definitely the start of this channel was um was Yu-Gi-Oh. I I might have mentioned this in, in last week's session. Where like the like the first couple of videos I did where I did the fright for pro the uh the fluffle profile by the way, still one of my favorite decks. That deck is, is uh, Fuego. I pick up the Raspberries. And still competitive to this deck. Because those cards are, are very stupid. Um, let me actually look at the town map. Actually, I don't have to. Because this should be 20... Yeah, this is 206. And if I go down here, it's 207. Yep. And then Dawn pulls up like, Hey! Uh, how's your Pokedex coming along? Left to right, choose which one, and she gives you the same thing as the first seeker. Uh huh. Yep. So now we could rebattle everybody. Yo, can I battle you, Dom? Obviously not, because it's not the fucking. We're not in uh, Renegade Platinum. I want my run back, dude. I doubt it. I seriously want my run back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Run it! Back! Nip! Alright, so you gotta get our 206 encounter. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop I'm actually gonna pop a repel here. So that we can get deep into the route. And once we are deep into the route, I'll go get this encounter. Bro, no, let me in. Foil. It's a good thing I noticed it. Mm, there should be a trainer like right around here. Is this cave still here? No, it's not this one. Super pal. Alright, sick. It's like in this area. This is a secret cave. Hmm. Burn Hill. Alright, so this is still 206. Mm -mm. Or is it maybe under this one? It's one of these areas under the bridge where that cave is. I just never remember which one it is. 
Hello, it's me. It's your boy Grottle. Meow. Arden. And you know that's that's real cool and all, but uh, eight minute. I missed. I five percent chance to miss. By the way. I I think that did two damage. Onyx and its forty base attack did two damage to me. Mm -mm. I bro, I I I am just perturbed all the time. Mm, forty base attack, just. Golly, yo, this Pokemon is garbage, dog. I'm telling you. He has another Onyx. Mm. Harden. Let's see if it has Sturdy, because if it doesn't have Sturdy, it still gets domed. Because I'm nine levels above it. I mean, I guess they're they're not. Ex they expect you to have a full team, so everything everything you have is a bit weaker. But why? You don't need a full team at, at two badges into the game. Is it here? No, still no. All right, we still didn't get our two hundred six encounter, but we can definitely get our uh, wayward cave. I don't have flash for this, huh? It's fine. There's a bronze on. Or the bronze ore. Mm -hmm. It's it, this is definitely a good pickup as a wall. It's definitely a good pickup. Mm -mm -mm. I don't need two psychic types though. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to catch this and then leave. But you know what? This is, it actually gives us a higher chance to catch Clefairy in Mount Coronet. Even though I'm pretty sure Clefairy is only in that, that, uh, that second section when you're actually going to Spear Pillar. Still catch him. Gotcha. Bronzor was caught. Oh yeah. Here you go, Ibrahim. Mm, 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 mm. You will not be in my party for long. You. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I do not need you. Is that an be item here? No? No items? Sheesh. Mel in the hand of that bitch want a dog fight. No. Okay, I have to hold R. Alright, 206. We get a ponyta. Just uh yup cock. Just just yes cock. Yep, that's the one. Well, we still got 208 once we clear this uh, this other side. So, am I mad? No. Can't you? Can't you get sight? I should not have. I didn't. Like I ain't see anything. Just gonna wow. Anyway, just, just, I'm just gonna act like I ain't see shit. Not in the slightest. Uh, where is it? I just saw. Oh, there it goes. Yup, cock. <laughs> yep, 
Yup. Just. There you go, buddy. She lived. She somehow. She. I'm surprised that she lived. What else is in this route? 206 Geodude. That would have been dupes. Because we already caught a Geodude. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, oh, we should probably head to Floroma Town and then go check that. Uh, check that tree because it. It might have something on it, and if we get a hair across, that shit is that is very much GGWP. Cause you know hair crosses in this game. Uh, I, I can just check it afterward after I finish this session, cause I'm not gonna waste all this time to go back there, and then if there's nothing there, I gotta run all the way back to. I'll check it afterwards, and then uh, I'll I can definitely record it and then put it up. So that we can enjoy it later. Or it'll be in the video later. To show you that I'm not cheating. Because you know. I don't do that. So right. Again. Back to. Bringing it back. Bring, it all comes back around full circle. Bringing it back. Uh. Yeah no. Watch. Going through. Through arc 5. Has reminded me like. That, that one era of Yu-Gi-Oh, like the Arc 5 era of Yu-Gi-Oh, is, that shit is wild. Cause, I, I've been, well, I, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh on and off since, like, when, when did I actually get on, uh, I think we, we got on, on the Dueling Sim, like the end of, me and my homeboy got on the Dueling Sim at the end of, End of 5D's start of like um Zexel, which by the way, Zexel is fucking garbage. Anime sucks. <laughs> Yuma quite literally has the is the worst protagonist. And his cards fucking blow. Like yeah, there's all this um this Utopia support. But um that mon that I said that mon. That card by itself is ass. It is not a good card. <laughs> I mean, you can say that about um, any of the aces. You can say that about Dark Magician. But... Dark Magician also has 2500 attack. Even if it is a normal monster. And, uh... He kind of just shreds. Odd Eyes Dragon, 2500 attack. Battle only level 5 or higher monster, you do double damage. This shit shreds. Stardust Dragon. If an effect activates that, destroys a card, contribute it and negate it, and bring it back at the end of the turn. That's why Stardust Dragon will always be relevant. I don't... Utopia, however... The card's fucking garbage. It, it, it is... It, that card's a dumpster fire. Because, like, right? Like, think, think about this, right? Because I remember when Utopia first came out, and he, I still felt the same way I do about U Utopia then that I do now. Right? Utopia, so two level fours. You're like, oh, I got a level four. Oh, I got a level four. Overlay, open up the overlay to that work. And, you know, Shiaka Zing. Right? You bring out this 2500 attack monster. You think you're big chilling, right? Everybody thinks they're big chilling. Hey, yo, I didn't know my man Austin was in this game. Hey, yo, of course Austin shows up when I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's my man's. It's my dude. That's my boy. My guy. He's a good man and a good friend. Uh, let me heal up. Use these potions. Yeah, no. It's getting to the point where the potions don't, don't do anything. Because I have so much health. That's the one thing about this, about Pokemon that I don't understand. Is why it doesn't scale. Like, obviously, there are powers. There are uh, uh, level jumps in that, but the fact that this game doesn't scale with you, it's kind of whack. It's kind of whack. I'm tell you, son. So, sorry. Back, back to it. Back to the, uh, back to the damn thing. Right about uh, me talking shit about Utopia and how ass that card is. Right. 
Utopia 2500 tech monster. That is a decent attack stat. I won't even lie to you. That's that's pretty good. I should probably be using this Meditite, honestly. What? No. Why do you? No. Yes. My job. I I I use the Meditite. I'll grind him up for a little. I I'm gonna use it anyway. He has pure power. Why would I not use him? He has double attack. So, Mr. Mr. Utopia, twenty five hundred attack. Uh, overlay two level four monsters. If your opponent attacks, you can detach one material from this card and negate the attack. So you can negate two attacks, right? However, however, and this one makes his mon fucking garbage. Uh, at any point, if Utopia doesn't have any materials and is targeted for an attack, it, it just, it explodes. It, it automatically gets destroyed. It does, doesn't, you don't go through battle calculation. You don't, you don't do, go through, uh, you do not go through any of the other stuff. You just die. So, you, in, in reality, you can only negate one attack. And if it's an emergency, that's the only time you'll use the second one. And you kind of just sit there like, yup cock, I guess this is cool. And of course there, there's, th this thing doesn't learn any flying type moves, so I'm not worried. I would know, I have one. Damn, that still did a lot of damage. Like, honestly, it still did a lot of damage, even if it, uh... I mean, it's still stab, but it's not a special attacker. And I'm just saying, and if I had side beam, it would have just straight up killed. And I'm sitting here, just like, why? Why are you like this? Of course, with the, with the, um... Addition of ZW and all those other cards like that you can equip to To Utopia Utopia becomes Very very pop champ and also you could rank up Utopia and all that but base Utopia by itself is not good it, It's just not I don't like using it. It hasn't done anything for me card is stupid But uh I, I bring this all up to say, like, I, I'm sitting here at work, um, just doing, doing what I do. You know, we just started, uh, the, se the seasonal, or peak season for, for Amazon, which is, wow, oh boy, a lot of fun. Oh, I had another rare candy stick. Mm -mm. mm, damn, I didn't, I barely even got touched at that fight. I just straight up didn't get touched. Or no, I, I took the absorb from the from the zoo. Why didn't it poison fame? Why do I keep asking these questions? I'm just so used to playing Renegade, and you know games that rejuvenation, games that actually beat your fucking shit in. And here I am asking questions again, like an idiot. Pachirisu Komita. I'm pretty sure in Renegade they have um. In this fight, they have the the Kanto starters. I think they have the, they have um, Charmander, Bulbasaur, uh, Trico, and Trico and Torchic, and then they have uh, Cinequil, Chikorita in this fight. It's something like that. It's something like that. Oh, 25 by the way. Mm hmm. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 19. I'm still, that's a ways higher. I mean, not, not meta type, but for the most part, I'm still way higher level on everything else. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just straight kill me. Oh, no, I don't, I don't need spark. I just want to use Vibe. It is Aaron. So, especially, so, right, not, not 5Ds, because I, I was still using single deck, single, 
Synchro Summoning is probably my favorite kind of summon. I just love Synchro Summoning. It's so much fun. Uh, it's, it's definitely way cooler than fucking Link Summoning. That shit is fucking broken. Link 1 Summoning is broken. 